Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Christy. In today's video, I am so excited to try this recipe. So this time of year, it's slow cooker, crock pot type recipes, and it's also apple pies, pumpkin pies, those type of things. So we're gonna combine and make a slow cooker scoopable apple pie. Yes, it sounds and looks delicious. This is actually a Hungry Girl recipe and I am so excited to try it. So the recipe itself is zero points. Now at the time of this filming, Weight Watchers has the blue, green, and purple program, but they are getting ready to change it. So I'm not sure if I'll actually have this video up before the changes. So as of the blue, purple, and green <laughs> Weight Watcher program, it is zero point. So just keep that in mind if the program has changed by the time you see this. But if you're not following WW and you're counting calories, it's only gonna be 64 calories. So I've never made this before. So as always, I'm gonna take y'all along and we'll see how this comes out. So we need eight cups of apples. She says that's about eight medium apples. And she says Granny Smith apples. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of apples these are that I have. I don't think they're Granny Smith, but we're gonna make do with what I have. The other things we need are two tablespoons of cornstarch, three tablespoons of Truvia Spoonable Calorie Free Sweetener. I did not have any Truvia. She says, if you don't have Truvia, you can use another natural brand that's about twice as sweet as sugar. So normally for my sweetener, I use the Lacanto. The Lacanto is a one for one. So the equivalent is the same as regular sugar. So she says you have to use something that's twice as sweet as sugar. So what I did have in my cabinet is these Stevia packets. So I just measured out three tablespoons worth of those because these say that they are twice as sweet as regular sugar. We're also gonna need about two teaspoons of lemon juice. So I have half a lemon here. I'll use for that, which it won't take the full half lemon. The other things we're gonna need are one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a quarter teaspoon of salt that I've actually already measured out. So the first thing to do is peel and slice the apples. So we're just gonna slice them into like moon shapes. And then I have my slow cooker insert, which is actually my Instant Pot insert. I have this sprayed with cooking spray. So I'm just gonna peel and slice the apples and put them right into my pot. All right, so this is two apples. So as you can see, I'm getting about one cup per apple. So I am gonna use eight apples in mine. So I have all my apples down in there and they're already starting to change colors. So now what we're gonna do is take the two tablespoons of cornstarch and mix it with three quarters of a cup of water. So I'm just gonna mix it right in here and just wanna whisk it up real well. And then to that, we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. So the three tablespoons of the Truvia or whatever sweetener you're using. And the quarter teaspoon of salt. One and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. Quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. One teaspoon of vanilla. And finally, two teaspoons of lemon. So I'm just gonna use my tablespoon. Since there's three teaspoons and a tablespoon, I'm just gonna squirt enough in there for like two thirds of the tablespoon. All right, so there we go. So that should be about two teaspoons. And then just whisk that all together. Okay, now take the apples and just pour that right over the apples. And then just kind of mix it around a little bit. So 
So now we're going to get that in the slow cooker. So now we're just going to slow cook it on high for one and a half hours. So one and a half hours on high or until the apples are softened. All right, this is done. It's actually been sitting for a little bit because I got sidetracked with something. That looks good. All right, so I'm gonna get some of this poured in a bowl and give it a try. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. So because I let it sit, I think the apples are a little bit too cooked. So I would definitely say when you're, when it's done, get them right out. I kind of got a little bit sidetracked today. And of course, I need to add a little bit of Ready Whip. So let's try these. That is really good. And I'm surprised because to me, Stevia kind of has like that aftertaste, I guess you could say, which I can taste a very, very little bit, but not enough for it to stop me from having these. Mm. And for zero points, if you wanted to use some of those little mini phyllo shells or the mini size graham cracker crust. I think those are like four points. This is really good. I am super impressed with this. So let me know in the comments if you end up trying this. So I hope you liked this video. Let me know in the comments if you have ever made some type of apple pie in the slow cooker. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you in my next video. I'm Christy and I'm planning us healthy. Don't you know